Well, I thought that now we would go to uh, to B.L. Umberger's uh, siblings because his brothers and sisters, because a lot of them have stories that uh, are hard for me to tie together. These these people all, uh, with uh, that were were he didn't came to visit or, or whatever have stories. So I got a list of, of some of them, and I'm just going to start on that list and see what, what you can think about. Uh, there, these is all the sons and daughters of Ab Colonel Abraham Umberger, and Bascom Leonard is one of those, right? So there was Charles Umberger. That's a half brother. Okay. It was Charles Umberger. Yeah. Now the other side of it would be kings. Okay. I don't have the list of the kings. I have the umber. There's something the matter there, honey. I haven't got that straight. But, but Charles was a half-brother. Oh, my gosh. I can't get... No, I, that screwed up because Papa's name wouldn't be Umberger and his half-brother wouldn't be Umberger, too. Oh, well, it could be, couldn't it? Yeah, the, the children of the father. Yeah. Well, anyway, Charles and... Aunt Liza lived at Mount Ola, which was, oh, may I estimate maybe 20 miles from our home. In Concord. Yeah, at Mount Ola was. And they had a big family too, but we often visited them and they often visited us, but it would be all day. But we take the whole family usually. Now, their children, I got a list of them, so they had May Umber. Yeah. Do you, you think anything about her? Yeah, she uh, turned out to be a missionary in Brazil, like it was. They two of his of their children were missionaries. Is that the Wiley Weaver connection? Yeah, he's the son of one of them. The son of May Umber? I don't know. Okay. How about any Umber? Well, anyway. They, they raised a family who were born and raised in Brazil, but uh, they could come back to the United States ever so often. But Lolly, Lolly Weaver and his sisters, one of them's named Anita. Anyway, we knew them pretty well because sometimes they would stay with Aunt Aunt, even though they were and go to school here, even though their folks are still doing work and missionary in Brazil. Now, who were Weaver's parents? Uh, I'll get to it. The Weaver? I don't know. I don't know. Is gonna, you going to ask uh, me a question? Yeah, this is our fifth tape of family history uh, with uh, Francis Fisher and interviewed by Jim Fisher. <laughs> uh, today is Sunday, the uh, 11th of August, 2002. And we're going to uh, continue with the family of Charles Umberger, who was the son of Colonel Abraham Umberger. And uh, the, Charles Umberger was one of the uh, children of Colonel Umberger from his first marriage. Not the marriage that produced Bascom Leonard, but uh, these were the half brothers and sisters of Bascom Leonard from uh, that's named Umberger. And, uh, we were talking about Wiley Weaver, who was the son of one of Charles Umberger's daughters. We haven't identified which daughter it was, but uh, you were telling about how he uh, would visit from uh, from the Brazil, where his parents were missionaries. Well, I don't know whether he stayed over here maybe all the school year at some time. He, he lived actually with Aunt Anna. And in fact, she, she treated him as a son, and I'm sure when she died, she left him everything she had because she didn't have any children of her own. You said he was about the age of king. I think he was about, yeah, he was about the age of king. and. And so they budded around when they, they were with us, 
And back then, if you wanted to take a friend to school with you, you took them for it. And I remember them, him coming to school with King, and uh, since he could speak a foreign language, well, that was a curiosity for a lot of people to have him to say something in Portuguese. You said Portuguese? Yeah. Portuguese. And, but he, he stayed with us a lot, and his sister was named Mary Jane. She stayed with us quite a bit, too. And they had another sister, but I can't think of her name. I think it was Nita or something like that. But uh, we never did know her very well, personally. And you said there was another family that was from the do another daughter of Charles Umberger that was also missionaries in Brazil. Oh, yeah. They, they worked together over there, I'm pretty sure. But uh, she married a Terrell, who was a missionary, too. And they had a family, I think uh, several boys and a girl, but uh, I can't follow them any further because I just know, I know when they were ever coming by here, by Contour, they, they, and all of these relatives. See, we lived out in the country, we had plenty of room, and you went by the roads and naturally you'd see them because there wasn't a whole lot of roads then, and uh, they'd always stop in. And if they had time, they'd spend the night. They didn't have time, or they'd talk a while and go on to the next place. So we've looked at May Umberger from Charles Umberger's uh, family, Minnie Umberger that you didn't know much about, now Crit Umberger. Well, Crit was a, a Methodist minister, and back then, if you were a minister, in a rural area, you had at least three churches. And not only that, the Methodists, their method of hiring preachers then was to move every three years, regardless. Whether you liked them or didn't like them, you, you had to move, you just prepared never to have a home of your own, which was bad about that. So at one time, he did have a charge here in Concord. His wife was named Beulah. That's, that's about all I know about her. Mm -hmm. And their, their children? Yeah, they had two boys and a girl, I know. Unfortunately, one of the boys, when he was just a, I don't know how many ages, but not very old, maybe 11 or something like that, hung himself because he wasn't very... I think his health was bad or something like that. I can't remember just what it was. Anyway, it was kind of a tragedy. Mm -hmm. How about Sally Umberger? I don't know a thing about Sally. Uh, seemed to me like they had a daughter, and seemed to me like her husband was a Methodist preacher too. But that's just about all I know about that. Okay, Ollie Umberger. And Ollie lives here in Concord. Well. When he first came, see, I see. I think his family was originally from up uh, in Westford. No, that's the ones at uh, Mount Ola. But um, anyway, he's a when he, he was a rural military. Uh, back when the, I think when he started, it was probably horse and buggy, and not buggy, but the, he had a a certain the wagon. <laughs> It looked like a great big, the back of it looked like a great big black box that the male, rural mail carriers used. I remember it being up at home. But anyway, he lived all that time with, with my mother and Dan up in the boys' room, just like he was one of them. That's the way, way I remember it. It was for my day, of course. But then when he got married, well, he had his own home. but. Always stayed close to our family, uh, very close to our family. He went to the same church we did out there in the country. And uh, uh, being a mail carrier, he was always so kind. His people on his route, he'd go do anything for them, you know. They wouldn't have, may not have a thing to do with the post office, but he'd run errands for them. And, uh, of course, uh, the, all the roads back then were red mud. And uh, I think maybe when he started, it was a 
pretty sure it was horse drawn. So of course, now he'd have to keep his horse up there too, you see. And, uh, uh, I forgot what, what, was his, what was his wife's name? Oh, his wife's name, Lily. His wife's name was Lily, and they had one child, was uh, Roxanna on Berker. And uh, 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 after he retired, he did, they moved to somewhere up around state from where Lily was from, and I think she had inherited just a, a little farm or something like that up there that they lived on. And uh, I remember Roxanna came to college back down to here to Pfeiffer, that's close to Richfield, at the time I was teaching over there. And I, I see her quite a lot. We go to ball games and stuff like that. And she's still alive and you get uh, Christmas cards from her. Oh yeah, the fa she's kept touch with the family. I get a, a letter at Christmas time explaining and her husband died maybe two years ago. And they had one son, I don't know his name, Okay, Brooke Umberger. Well, that was his sister. She never did get married. She stayed at home and took care of the old folks till they died. She was very kind. Everybody liked Brooke. But uh, I don't know. I think maybe when everybody was gone, there wasn't anybody to take care of her. I seen me like. She was in a rest home or something like that. I'm not sure. But then her brother Kent, neither one of them were married. And so he, he kept the farm going there as long as anybody lived there, I suppose. I don't know how it happened, what happened to him. Okay. Between Brooke and Kent, there's a Maggie Umberger. Well, I don't know a thing in the world about that. Okay. Now, we're going from Charles Umberger's family to Harlow Umberger. To who? Harlow. Well, I'm just a draw a blank there. Okay, you had a son, Harris Umberger? Harris? Uh-huh. No, I'm, I draw a blank there, okay, too. Okay, here's another brother, or half-brother, Everett Umberger. I just don't know any, they, they weren't close to us. I don't remember them coming around to visit or anything. And the last one, it's the, from the prior marriage is Robert Umberger. Had the children Lois and, and uh, Harry. I think all of these must have been way before I was born because I haven't heard anything. I don't know anything about that. Okay, so now we're uh, on the so those were Abraham Umberger's children from his prior marriage. Then his wife, uh, from her prior marriage, the only one we can think of, because she was a, a king before, was Uncle Charlie King. There, there was others, but we don't have her name. That her, her husband was a king, so her name was King. And uh, then she had children, and then uh, she married Umberger, who already had children too. And they had the, the third group, which my father was in the third and last group. Right. So from her marriage with King, they produced Uncle Charlie King. That's the only one we thought of. So let's talk about him. Well, yeah, if you want to. Ah, it seems to me like I've already told about that. Okay. Uh, so where did he live? Huh? Uh, where did Uncle Charlie King live? In Charlotte. He's the one that had the... the it's a fine Southern Bell school for women. And named Elizabeth College. No. Yes, it was. Okay. Yes, it was. And, and who was the Elizabeth that it was named for? I don't know, but I bet you a dollar it's his wife or somebody like that. Right. And, and if you go to Charlotte right now, those streets named Elizabeth, and that's, that's from when they were over there. Mm -hmm. See, his mother's name was Elizabeth Jane Martin or King uh -huh. or uh, Umberger. Okay. So it might have been his mother. He also had, uh, there was an aunt, Elizabeth Umberger, that was a sibling of Abraham Umberger. So I think it's probably one of them. I remember reading that. Uh, so so he, 
he had to live, uh, he, what kind of, he was a teacher, I guess, or an educator. He was the head of the school, but. He owned and operated that school. Uh, as far as his profession, I wouldn't know. Mm -hmm. But uh, he came out pretty good because they and of course he married a, a, a woman that was pretty well to do too. But uh, they had a, a bunch of children two or three boys and one girl, I know. But uh, when they were growing up, we did visit each other, but uh, that was before my day, really. I, I just don't remember much about that. Mm -hmm. I just remember they had an awful pretty house in Charlotte. Yeah. Yeah, at that time, was a new section and everything. So they were kind of socially prominent in Charlotte. I think so. And. Uh, I know that I've, I've seen some letters that B.L. Umberger uh, wrote that was a correspondence with C.B. King. So he, no. uh, they were, they were close to each other. But uh, you don't know whether that went to Wistful or to Charlotte or what, do you? Those letters. That was when he was in Charlotte. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, now, why did they move to college somewhere else? I don't know why they did, but they're bound to be a, it wasn't at the fact of money uh, because they established a, uh, the same college in Salem, Virginia. And I don't know how long they operated that before they maybe went in, into another school or something like merged. I just don't know. You don't know what uh, other school it uh, Doris Ann would know more about that because I think that was school she went to, if I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, later on, or whenever it was merged or whatever happened. Or, it's in that same town, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, can you think of anything else about Uncle Charlie King? I don't I Well, I told you in Kings, they, they kept close to King all the time. He always remember him at his, his birthday. Okay, so now we're going to go to the family of the uh, uh, Colonel Abraham Umberger and Elizabeth, uh, the one that had been married to the king. So they have together, I think, five children, at least five I've got listed here. And that's, You're talking about Papa's family now? Yeah, that's right. Uh, his full brothers and sisters. So the first one, it says here, Anna Peters, Anna. And, and, and Anna. She's the one that lived at, uh, oh, what's the name of that place in Virginia? We always visited so much. I can't think of it. Yeah, okay, maybe it'll come back. But it's, uh, it's the same town that we, I think William and Henry College is, and so in order to make money, she roomed uh, a lot of the college boys. This isn't William and Mary College in Williams. No, Park, no. William and Henry. Okay. No, this is different. What the name was her? So, name? so Anna Anna is somebody I I hear, heard about a lot. Her name. She was every year she would come down to stay at least a week with us. And, uh, uh, and of course, she more or less adopted um, uh, Wiley. Yeah, Wiley, Wiley Weaver. Weaver. She raised him, and I'm pretty sure she left him whatever she had left. Her, her husband died. I never did know her husband, because he died before I was big enough to remember any things like that. But I know the, the college there and how she made a a living more or less was from boarding those uh, college students. Mm -hmm. And I think, uh, uh, who's the boy she kept? Uh, Wiley Weaver. I think he went to college while he was there too. Okay, go to Lula Umberger. His sister? Yeah. I never knew them. They were all dead, I think, before me, my time. Mm. I never knew them. I know in the summertime when we, the whole family went up there, some of us, if, it was, if any of them were still living there, 
some of us would stay at their house. And I might have stayed there one time with my mother because I remember the furniture. The, the beds were so high you had to go up a little steps to get in. That's the one thing I remember about that. Aunt Nita Umberger. Well, yeah, she was a nurse, and that was very unusual back then to, for a lady to be a, a graduate nurse. And she was the nurse at Uncle Charlie King's College, you know, and uh, she married a, a distant relative of, of ours uh, who was... Walton Griever. Griever. Huh? Uh, her husband was yeah. Walton Griever. Which was, um, I guess you'd call it a teacher at the Lutheran Seminary at the Green... At Columbia, Columbia South, Carolina. South Carolina. And uh, he was up high in that. And I, for about 10 years, he was the secretary of the whole Lutheran Church. And they lived in New York at that time. The, and of course, huh? The Lutheran Church in the United States. Uh, Luth yeah. Some of the Lutheran churches combined so, uh, since right. then, you know, I don't know exact name. But they lived in New York about 10 years, and when they'd go backwards and forth from Columbia to up there in New York, they'd always stop by our house, you know, and spend a night or two. So they kept close to us, too. Uh, when and lots of times it would just be him, and uh, he, he didn't drive, he had a chauffeur. And uh, that took him everywhere. And of course, they had to have two beds. <laughs> well, we had two, two double beds in every room anyway, so that just fit exactly, you see. But he, that, that chauffeur kind of looked after uh, Uncle Walton. Walton Griever. Yeah, Uncle Walton. That's what his name was. So that, would, it, would that have been in the 1920s, 30s? Well, about to be. I was born in 1915, and I was old enough to remember some of those trips. Because I remember meeting them right before they died in Columbia, South Carolina. It would have been in the very, very late 50s or early 60s that I went down there. That's a, well, I was gone. I, must, I didn't know that. Uh, well, they had... Uh, Two daughters and one son, Walton Jr. and uh, Virginia, and what was the oldest one? Anyway, she married a Lutheran preacher too. I think maybe both of them did. I don't know. But uh, Virginia lives up around Salem, Virginia, where. Doris Ann is familiar with, and she knows her well. She's still living, she's 90 some years old and so active, still driving herself and everything. Now, the, the uh, next one is Bascom, so we already talked about him, and the final one is Heber Umber. Heber was my dad's only full brother, I guess, that lived to be. Now, how many died at infancy, I wouldn't know. But uh, for some reason or other, I can't understand it all, but Uncle Heber had diabetes. And they must have lived around here somewhere because when he was so bad, they lived at home and at that time, they didn't know a whole lot about diabetes. And they said he'd get so hungry in the middle of the night and go wandering around because he was hungry. But he, he died in our house, I'm pretty sure. But I just don't know the connection there. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, he left Aunt Sadie and, and Elizabeth, his daughter. Okay, so he was married to Aunt Sadie. Aunt Sadie, and she was Jewish. Okay, sure. But she's a fine lady. And where where they live? That's what I don't know. It's somewhere around here because if it got sick, he wouldn't be up at home. Uh huh. I just don't know. Okay, so that uh, that was very good. That covered all of the uh, brothers and sisters that we have names 